good. I think that's a beautiful image. I have many of those around the house. Just saw it the other day when trying to get my husband's birthday craft uh, materials for decoration. His birthday is on December 9th. I'm trying to put something together even though I don't have any clue on how to make a body. I'll try my best. I've been trying to learn how to cook. Especially try to make some flour so that I can make some pastelitos. He liked it when he went to Dominican Republic to see me. Uh, the ones I made, it came out good, but I spent the whole afternoon doing it, so I said, no, no, I have to find another way to make it better. I don't have much time during the day. Always busy. Studies, work, house cleaning, house organization, um, personal self maintenance, I'm not sure, uh, hair, my daughter's hair as well, extra it out. So yeah, I don't have much time. One afternoon wasted doing the flower mix is not a good thing. So I need to find a better way. And hopefully one day someone's gonna create a machine where you can, like I said before, exercise while mixing it up. That'll be dream. Exercising while cooking. So now what would like what would I like to talk about in this second video? Well, I'm planning to make it in 15 minutes and follow the pattern with all of them. Still copy and paste with this job assignment that I was given today. Very grateful. Like it says on the piece of wood where you put your glass of water Boom. and it's really cool. I, like I said before, I don't, I wasn't born in the United States. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Um, I was born 1987, yep, 1987, I was born in Santo Domingo, my parents are, well, one of them, because my dad died, my parents have always been lower class economically, but with very high values, which were transferred to me. Very honest people, like whenever there is an honest person, there is always not much money around, I guess. Sometimes, well, in my case, most of the time. Anyways, they raised me with almost nothing. Me and my siblings, I have a brother and a sister. She's the youngest and the oldest. Um, my father gave us everything everything he had he'll take from himself and give it to us but good people 
and last and he was gone on 2021st. I don't blame it on COVID. Thank you to the people that let it in, which caused the death of so many loved ones. I don't blame him. I don't blame COVID. I'm not saying why him or it. I don't blame it. But probably the circumstances will be different if it didn't happen. More resources for my father to be able to see the doctor sooner. More rooms availability so that he could stay in the hospital a little longer so that he, he can make sure he could have he couldn't be um falling back to to being sick when he was home i blame myself i blame myself because i didn't act fast in life i dwelled for too long on my failures my divorce, my main purpose in life, made by choices in the name of love. But I always believe that something happened for a reason. I didn't like this one, but I have to Resignate. It hurts too much to lose someone that you know loved you more than himself. And you couldn't give him back what he deserved. There's so much stuff I would like to talk about, but I need to pick up a topic for this one. And I guess I'll speak a little bit more about where I come from so that if anything in the upcoming videos is or sounds weird, maybe some of the background will help understand the reason behind it. I've always said that there's nothing, there's no one bad or no one good. It's just something behind it that will help you understand the reason. And the truth is relative. My truth doesn't have to be your truth. Our truth doesn't have to be other other's truth. That's why we fall for the person that we are relate to, we can relate to. We come from families that we share our same culture and religion. And if we don't, of course, most likely it will separate. So I was born there very poor family but very happy hard working father extremely hard working father um but very happy had some issues now and then especially when i started to be a teenager we call it in Spanish adolescencia. 
which means hurting it's actually what happened it was hurting period a very, a very difficult hurting moment in life for me phase of my life phase right phase and i don't want it back so still being poor now when i look back was the best thing that could have happened to me and like steve jobs said when you start to connect the points things that didn't make sense before start to make sense now and I agree 100% on that things that didn't make sense before they do make sense now being poor told me to be humble to know who my true friends are to not let myself be blinded by materialism, consumption, consumism, etc. Not needing too much to be happy, too much physical, material. With love, family and friends, I can live anywhere. I can wear anything. And I know I cannot eat anything, but I can survive. And that's what poverty has told me. To be grateful for every minimum good thing that happens in my life. When I moved here, it was a shock. I could see how people can have so much and be so unhappy. How people can have no money and still be addicted to getting and buying more stuff like with credit. And how many people which have their whole body in good shape can try to take advantage of the system to obtain for free what others worked so hard to get by corrupting the system. And how people are so unhappy about their work life that they are so anxious to retire. Well, I've seen so many men and women worked their whole life and still be grateful for at least having a job and being able to do something for others and for themselves. You die when you retire. That's what we say in Dominican Republic. You die when you retire. And it's one of the reasons why I'm very eager to help my daughter do what she loves to do so that she won't have to work a minute on her life. Because when you do what you love, money comes along. It just falls from the trees. Like like the says says, it falls from the trees. You're doing what you love and forget it. You'll get money. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. For I mean it's it's like okay, some exceptions can happen, but 
it's better to work for something you love even though you don't get any money than work your whole life willing to retire and then what happens when you retire you might make it you might not so what happened with that moment with that present in life that you wasted when i was younger I was looking for that ultimate moment in which I'll have enough money to not work anymore and just manage my business and my assets. I, since I was little, always dream about being a businesswoman and creating great business and stuff like filmmaking and having my own company and making a lot of money of it and also helping um, people like documentaries that will help students learn much faster or anything that will make me a great contributor to the world and will also make me more, m m get more, more money to first of all help my family and it's insane because most of the time we think about getting money to just get a great car and get a good nice clothes but all i had on my mind was make my family's life much better it might sound stupid because i was a little kid i'm gonna keep think about that but seeing how hard my father was working and how difficult it was for him to get money it, it instantly put on me a desire for helping him and stop his suffering along the way i just deviated myself from my dream from my goal from my purpose and when i tried to get that time back it was too late And it's not worth it. So don't lose focus. If you're young, if you're in your ten teenage years or your 20s, do not lose your focus for love. It don't matter how much you think this person is worth it. Don't lose your focus. Accomplish your dream, whatever you lived for from the beginning. And then, if anyone that's around you loves you for real, they'll stick to you. You don't need to do crazy stuff for them in order to show them how much you love them. They won't see it that way. Just do what you have to do, follow your dream. And once you're happy with yourself and your dream, you'll find people that love you. Because they'll see how happy you are. Hmm? I don't say don't give anything, but save some for you and for your loved ones. And family, good or bad, is always going to be there. But friends and couple, they might be there better than any family member, but they might not. So don't lose your horizon. Don't let your dreams collapse so that you can make the dreams of others come true. And I'll talk to you about it later.